What's good, y'all, and welcome back to Simply Black Honey. I wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on here with, you know, the apiary with my honeybees and the garden and all that stuff. So if you guys don't remember, when I first was planting my pollinating garden, I decided to put Coreopsis in this huge bin here. And as you guys can see, it actually did nothing. All I pretty much got was a bunch of weeds. And look, we're past the pollinating season at this point. So what I'm doing is I'm gutting it all out. I'm getting really, really deep down into it to make sure we get rid of all of the roots. And I'm actually going to prep this soil to plant some fall vegetables. I wasn't going to do any veggies, but hey, look, I have this beautiful container here that's a pretty decent size. So why not go on ahead and get something in the ground, in the soil, and let it do what it's going to do. So I'm going to clean all of this out. I'm gutting it out right now. And then later on today, I will also be doing another mini inspection inside of the hive to see how things are going. As you guys can see, lots of things have grown over that I have to start tidying up. Um, my lavender, of course, is, you know, lavender is pretty much done around this time of year, but I need to clean out all those weeds, get all this stuff nice and tidy. And again, we're going to come back in a little bit and we're going to do another check in on the bees to see how they're doing and see if I also need to refill that feeder that I put in there a little over a week and a half ago. All right, you guys. So just to give you guys a little update, like I said, I went in and I um, tidied everything up. I've cleared out this Coreopsis bed. So now that soil is good to go if I do decide to go on ahead and plant anything in there this fall. Cleaned all of that up. It was just like a lot of weeds that were like overgrowing. Um, as you guys can see, <laughs> the lavender beds look completely different now because I've, took, I've taken all of those weeds out. So now they have room, you know, to breathe and everything. I cleaned up all this stuff around the base of the beehive cleaned out that one as well i still have that little bit right there i need to get up but you know now things are nice and tidy um also i have a little a little surprise for you guys in the midst of doing the beehive inspection we found my queen so stay tuned So you can see the new wax they've built. Yeah, they're still trying still, to connect them. Still doing wonky comb. That's okay. If we've got eggs in there, then I'll be thrilled. That's the hope, is that there are eggs. There's larvae. I see larvae. So you yeah. have a queen. Thank you, Jesus. You do have a queen. And in fact, if you look inside of these little cells right here, you can see the eggs. They oh my God, I can see the little babies in there. Little tiny grains of rice, yeah. So you okay, so she's in there. She's oh, and I see there. some big larvae in there too. Yes. So there's oh, some larvae. wonderful. This is capped brood and then capped or uncapped larvae. It looks like they're capping it. Sometimes we call this bald brood. So they know that there might be a mite inside of those cells with them. So they don't Oh my God, there, there's so many of them. Yes. So the whole frame is covered. It's possible she's under here. Let's see if we can ask them to come out from underneath. ready you guys so we found we have found my queen there's the girl look how pretty she is there's the gal she's lovely she doesn't know what to do with us just yet there she goes there she goes we know she's going back to work get back to inside my girl great so as you could see that was amazing and i'm super excited to know that like a new queen was brought into the hive she's doing well she's giving birth they seem to be thriving at the moment which is great um, they are in the process of getting themselves ready for the winter. So that means they're, you know, getting food prepped, getting shelf, getting the inside of the house prepped. Um, so I'm, I'm hopeful that they are going to be a strong enough colony to make it through their first winter. Um, you know, luckily here on the East Coast, specifically in Maryland, we really have not had real harsh winters in the past couple of years. I'm definitely going to start doing my research now to make sure that I look into the proper way to overwinter them um, and all of those things. But for right now, things over here with Simply Black Honey are going well and I'm looking forward to my next season of being a beekeeper and seeing, you know, um, what happens and how they expand over the winter. And, you know, all of the things that I've learned in this first year with being a new beekeeper, I've learned a lot. All things that I can apply to next year when the colony expands um, and hopefully have a lot more honey production next year, which will also be very exciting. 
Um, I've learned what flowers I want to incorporate in my garden that I didn't have in this year. Um, so there's just a lot of things that I've learned. Um, and uh, yeah, if you guys have any other questions about beekeeping, you know, drop it down below in the comment section. If you guys have any knowledge about beekeeping that you think that I should know about overwintering my bees, also feel free to drop that down in the comment section. Um, and any other thing to report, um, just remember that my cookbook goes on pre-sale starting September the 10th. So make sure you save the date, September the 10th, my cookbook, Cultural Mosaic, a food tour around the globe will begin pre-sale. Get yourself a copy. Trust me when I tell you the buzz is going around and you are going to want to be one of the people that is the first set when that first batch gets mailed out. So don't miss out on that opportunity. I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.